All right, so we're out on our third day of shooting in the northern Serengeti with Thompson Safaris, and um, we've got a Cape Buffalo right up here. Haven't seen these guys yet. They are, they can be nasty, nasty individuals. He started up on a rock and now he's moved down into some tall grass. Really beautiful scene. Our goal today, maybe some cheetahs. No idea the sheer numbers that we would see of animals. Check this scene out. Amazing. So as we were making our way along this kind of grassy plains area, we spotted three lions up in the grass, beautiful. They made their way down to this kind of creek and uh, oh, I don't know, maybe a dozen, ten, ten more lions were down in there, all females and younger, younger ones. And now we're, we're waiting to see if they come back up out of this ravine so we can get some shots. This grass back here is just gorgeous. And the light, this African light for hours in the morning and evening is fantastic as well. Sun sets around six, doesn't come up until after six, close to seven. So we don't have a ton of hours, but as I said, there's a kind of golden hour, nice light really seems to last. All right, here's the situation. We've got a male and female lion over here. We've got to watch them mate twice. It's pretty exciting. And there's actually another pair way up on the hill back behind us. But I take this opportunity to show how these vehicles are set up. We've got these little bean bags here that we can rest on. You're not going to use a tripod inside these vehicles. And as I told you before, you don't get out because, well, there's a lion over there. You don't do things like that. I'm shooting with the Sony A7R, the Sigma adapter, and the Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary. That's the more normal sized one. This is where I love to use back button focus because the female lion is just laying out in the open. She's not moving really. Just kind of waiting for nice poses, nice looks, maybe a yawn. And taking focus away from your shutter button so that you're not focusing each time you take a picture is great. Because I've got my focus and now I just want to be able to take a shot at that split second where something excellent looks happen. And I also have my camera on the highest frame rate possible. Um, which with the Sony is not terribly high, but again, if there's a nice yawn, it's going to give me a better chance of trying to capture that. So if we're keeping count, we're up to five times now. This one just happened. They're so close. They're right there. We've barely moved. Let them walk around us. It's just fantastic. They don't really care about us. Now it's time to go back and get some lunch. Well, we weren't the lion's lunch. Hello. <laughs> Jamba Jamba Zebra. All right, we've had a nice lunch. I would talk about the food for a minute because uh, here we are in the middle of the Serengeti. They made me vegetarian homemade lasagna. And then for dessert we had ice cream. Uh, now, again, let me just repeat. We're in the middle of the Serengeti and we had ice cream. It's a little decadent, a little, uh, a little outrageous, but so delicious. Now, I'm not gonna lie, one of my favorite things to do when we are headed in and out in these vehicles is just to stand here and get this 360 panorama. It's comfortable. It's uh, beautiful, and uh, I just feel like I should take in every moment that I'm here. So we had lunch, a little break, and a hot tip on possibly a cheetah. Might be difficult to find and see, but down by the river, there's been a cheetah sighting. We're headed that way now. The guides are conferring trying to figure out where this elusive cheetah is. Guess what we found? This cheetah, he's just laying right there. So we're still watching one very sleepy cheetah. Check out everybody watching him in their lenses. Up on cheetah update 10 minutes later. He's rolled over twice, yawned twice. He's super cute. Oh, he licked his paw for a minute.
Fish. Nice way to end the day. struggling a little to uh, kind of convey what we're seeing and doing on these trips because I've watched nature documentaries, you probably watch nature documentaries, um, That's what we're trying and to it's get. pretty amazing, but um, it, it, it pales into comparison to being here, to riding in these vehicles across these, the plains and seeing giraffes, elephants, wildebeests, yeah, baboons, bigger bigger. monkeys. Rhinos, cheetahs, lions, lions mating. I mean, it's just unbelievable. It's all right there. It's a great way to wrap up day three. Tomorrow's a move it day. We're going to do some morning shooting and then we've got to move it to a new camp. Jumbo Jumbo! Jumbo Jumbo! How was the day? Amazing! 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 Good early morning. Day four, we are up really early. It's a little bit before six, and we're gonna head out for an early morning. Gooby, we're headed out because we hope that uh, there's some other different animals active early in the morning. Yeah. What do we? We are uh, trying to uh, find cheetah and leopard. Cheetah. Leopard, yeah, yeah. I think let's stay here for a few. Okay. Thank you, Kumbi. Leopard. Seeing this guy rounds out our top five. Leopard, lion, elephant, cape buffalo, and rhino. It's pretty amazing. Um, the guides are telling us that people go years between seeing the rhino. So what we've seen in the last four days is not normal. There's some, um, those are the uh, Orbeez. Orbeez. Ah, a leopard is checking out some potential prey that's walking by just on the other side of our vehicles. Come off the rock, he's down in some grass now, and uh, it really so nicely illustrates how awesomely camouflaged these guys are. When you take your eyes away from him, um, and then go to look for him again, it takes you a minute to find him. It's pretty amazing. Camera, practical advice here. We're all shooting with longer lenses. Most of us, 150 to 600 lenses. First important thing to me is making sure my shutter speed is fast enough that I'm not blurring these images from that focal length. So remember that rule of your shutter speed should be one over your focal length. So if we're out at 600 millimeters with a full frame camera, should be shooting at least at 1 600th of a second. Now we've got them stabilized on these bean bags here, which helps. So you can play with that. In times like this where he's just hanging out, it gives us time to shoot, check a shot, shoot, check a shot. Um, you can see if you can get that shutter speed a little bit lower because it's fairly low light and overcast right now. So we are battling that ISO, trying to keep it from getting too high. But first thing I think about in this case is shutter speed. Aperture, I'm opening it as wide as the lens will allow because again, I want that ISO to be fairly low. I'm hitting 2,000, 2,500. Sometimes the sun breaks through the clouds a little bit better and you can see a little bit better. But that's what we're up to right now. Day four. Here's the situation. We've left the leopard behind and now we are headed to another crossing. Kumi's doing some awesome driving. Check it out. These drivers slash guides are awesome. And these Land Rovers are awesome. What's that whole little, oh, mongoose. But we don't, you know, a little family of mongoose we're going by. And we have a crocodile that's just hanging out just below where these guys are crossing. This could be gruesome. Oh baby, oh baby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. Ah. Oh. Got him. Get it, baby? No, he's yet? got the bigger one. Oh, oh the bigger one, yeah. Oh. 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 Oh
Oh, you got the bigger one, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, and baby's right oh. there. Uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. 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 Yeah, you got the bigger one. You got the bigger one. It's intense to watch. He just he was hanging out right next to him for so long. Some of them had some second thoughts about crossing after that, but they've started again. They follow each other, and as they get swept downstream, they just kind of follow that and just really don't do anything. He's going after another. Yeah, Oh yeah. Oh, he's going after another. He dropped his. He dropped the first one he killed, and now he's going after another. Shiloh, right there. The only thing that's in the water. Oh. There goes another one. Greedy crocodile going after another. After this, we are headed across the river into Kenya. No passport required. It's just crazy. It's just so different from anything I've experienced before. And um, I love it. Welcome to Kenya. Here we are. Crossing through those wildebeests was amazing. I'm looking forward to putting together a 360 video of some of these shots because it's just unreal. There's, it's very difficult, I think, on video to capture the expanse we're looking at. The numbers of wildebeests dotting the plains. I'm, I'm looking at several thousand wildebeests right now. We drove through several thousand more. 10,000 wildebeests within sight, I think, is not an exaggeration. Having fun at the marker of Kenya and Tanzania border. Alright, as we're starting to get ready to leave this northern Serengeti camp, I thought it'd be interesting to show you how we keep all of our gear charged. Now, we can keep it charged in the vehicles, but when we're back, we want to be reviewing our images. Here's the gear tent. I got Mark and Steven here currently. And uh, just a few cords, just a few, and they're running a generator to power all this, and they do that for a couple hours each day so we can keep things charged and check our images out. Let's talk briefly about the um, awesome dude who just runs this place and the service. I've been to fancy restaurants, I've been to fancy hotels, stayed at fancy hotels, not a lot, but enough to know what good service is. What these guys do out here in the middle of nowhere it blows my mind. The food, the level of service, the friendliness. They knew my name the moment I stepped off that vehicle when I first arrived and all of them have greeted me my name every time they've seen me. It's just nice and it doesn't feel fake. You know, some people feel fake like they're just in it for the tip or something. These are genuinely nice, good, friendly people and it's been fantastic staying with them. Hussein, thank you very much for everything. I appreciate it. And that's goodbye to the northern camp. We're on our way south, and we'll be back with more. So gorgeous. Seeing this guy rounds out our top five. Oh, camera just went down. Dang it. There it goes. It goes back.